welcome back to my channel. I noticed that you guys really enjoyed my last hairstyling tutorial when actually I didn't even know how to properly style my hair. And now that I've had this hair for much longer, the style, and also now I am dyed to my natural hair color. I don't know if you can hear that. Today in Tokyo, I live in Tokyo right now, by the way, it is a very, very windy day. I think we're having a typhoon. So if you hear like gushes of wind or something, do not fear the typhoon though is here. <laughs> so I have showered, washed my hair, um, and then yeah, I did my makeup, but I kept my hair wet and I think I might have to wet it a little bit more just because let's be real i'm preparing a video <laughs> i have here just a little spritzy bottle and usually i i use this um when i want to fix up the front part of my hair you know how like the fringe can always be a little bit weird especially if it's the next day and you kind of need to like spruce it so even though i just showered it has dried a little bit this is just pure pure water one thing i do not have and i haven't used in years which is a big no-no is heat protectant spray and i am currently looking for a heat protectant spray and i know that many 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 of my subscribers and my viewers you guys always give me really good recommendations so i'm looking for something that can protect damaged hair so if you have any recommendations for a heat spray a brand that you love you know really does protect the hair and kind of like get it ready for hairstyling. Please let me know. Okay, so here's confession number one. I hate drying my hair. I actually really, really dislike drying my hair. I find it boring because it takes so long and I have so much hair. And especially that I have damaged hair, it takes even longer to dry. One thing that I've learned is to achieve these results, you really, really, really need to dry your hair as much as you can. If you air dry your hair, you get a different kind of texture to your hair. Anyway, so I'm gonna use my hair dryer. And this one, I just got it off Amazon. I think super, super inexpensive. This is a Panasonic brand. So I'm just gonna like comb through my whole hair. What I'm gonna do for a little bit is I'm just gonna try to dry the top part, just about 10%. You're gonna dry your hair like from one side to the other and what, what that's gonna do is just kind of like not have the fringe do like weird splits. I mean, I hope. And then here's where your round brush comes in. About this size. What you're gonna do is literally just blow dry your fringe. I literally look like someone from the Beatles. I guess like the back of your hair, just like dry it normally. Once you've reached about 70% dry, you're gonna take your nice round brush again. I will add now my first product, which is this Moroccan oil. I use this for a few years now. It's just, it's so good. I'm gonna do just one pump. Rub it in between your hands. Hydrate your hair. Now that your hair has a bit of treatment on and it is almost dry, we are gonna use the round brush. And I'm gonna dry like this. And then the other way around too. So just kind of like dry all your hair like that. We'll do the styling, that's part three. So the next step is to style with some hair straighteners because as you can see, it's so fluffy and this is me blow drying it. You're going to turn on your little mini iron or it can be a normal iron. I don't know, I just prefer to work with flat straighteners to do these hairstyles. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bottom of my hair. I'm going to just part the bottom. I'm gonna run a straightener through my hair and when I get to the ends, I'm kind of gonna go outwards. This is just like the bottom layer. The bottom layer, I'm choosing to keep this part straight so that there's not an insane amount of volume. Just because like I said, my hair is very voluminous. And now this next strand, I think I'm gonna go inwards. But I'm going to avoid doing like the front part of my hair. So I'm kind of like separating this part because I want to do that last because that's where it all comes down to. 
then last but not least we're gonna actually do the fringe I'm gonna go like up and then down and then up like so it's gonna go really quickly with the iron here you don't want to do too much and then kind of like adjust the little like layers as you see like this side of my hair has a bit more texture and looks nicer than this one this one's just like oof. now i'm gonna do this one really quickly so once you've done all these fun things to your hair like style it style it with a styling oil and mix it with this balm which i'll probably use the balm later but I really liked using this the other day, the Moroccan oil styling cream. I'm just going to run my fingers through this. And then to complete it, I'm going to add this guy. I'm going to scoop just a little bit of it. I'm going to warm it up in my fingers. Add it to the edges that way so it can stay right up and then style it the way you want it and there you have it the wolf cut styled and ready to stay at home <laughs> usually what I like to do as well is I'll put my hair behind my ears like this that's like kind of cool also kind of keeps the curve the curve like the curl of the hair anyways i hope you guys liked my video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment please let me know what is your heat protection spray recommendations and i will see you guys in my next video bye